for creating about 400 square feet of deck here. To support that, these guys are sinking six by six posts into the ground surrounded by concrete. Now a tool like this motorized auger takes some muscle to manage, but believe me, it's a lot quicker than digging all these holes by hand. The notches that are being cut into the post are for the outer band or band joist to rest in. This kind of joint is much stronger than just attaching the 2x8s with screws or nails alone. Once the rest of the joists are added in between the outer bands, blocking is added to stiffen and strengthen the whole structure. With that same goal in mind, the band joists are doubled, but this time we make miters at the corners because this joint will be very visible when the deck is finished. Now speaking of visibility, the most visible part of the deck comes next, the deck boards themselves. By laying out several feet of boards, then prying them all tight together at one time, Mark can ensure a good snug fit. It also allows him to pull strings across the deck to act as a nailing guide so that all of the fasteners line up in nice straight rows. And the way the boards tuck neatly under the brick ledge at the doorway is just another example of how planning for the little things really pays off.